Hi everyone, this is Martin from How To Make Mobile Games and this is a video on uh, tips for the iPhone App Store uh, optimization, so search, search engine optimization. So one of the big problems for small independent developers that don't have a huge marketing budget is obviously uh, visibility. The uh, Being able to be seen in the iPhone App Store amongst the, I think it's four or five hundred four or five hundred thousand other applications or games that are out there is really difficult. Um, you know, I wasn't, uh, we weren't in the app store in the early days when it was quite easy to, for your app to be discovered. So, uh, you know, back then I believe it was, it wasn't such a case of uh, marketing so much, but it's now these days, you know, marketing and, and search engine optimization and use of keywords are extremely important and even the type of game, of course, and the title of the game and so on. So this is just a tips video which um, which kind of gives some ideas on how to improve your search engine ranking, uh, the iPhone App Store ranking, and you know obviously getting more downloads and therefore more visibility, which should hopefully spirals into more and more downloads. So uh, this comes from our other business, which is called Cobble Play, which is uh, we actually develop uh, full games and and they're available on iPhone and Android now. So definitely check them out. If you do a search for, uh, it's actually under my name, Martin Finch. So if you do a developer search, you can find all our games in there. So, um, you know, I'm just going to go down my points of list here. But if there's any questions, I'll try to reply and do another video for you guys. Uh, but downloads affect ranking is, is the first point. Um, the more downloads you get, the higher your ranking becomes. Um, I would say... Uh, I, I, I've not done any research recently on download ranking optimization uh, uh, and the, the weighting of how much downloads compared to how much usage your app gets. So what it is is basically ranking I believe at the moment is based on how many downloads and also how often the application is used and then that affects the ranking overall in the app store. So, uh, But downloads affect ranking. The more downloads you get, the more visibility you have which is, which is great. So um, search is a, is a big part of it. Um, I think for a lot of independent developers, um, especially when we were starting out with, with, with our business, Cobol Play, is we focus more on the game and less on the sort of the marketing and the visibility of the game. Uh, and of course the game comes first, the playability, the is it fun or not, does it look good or not, and so on. But I think that, um, you know, from personally now for my focus, a lot of it is on things like, say, visibility or keywords or should we make this game or that game, depending on how how well it can be found, uh, because that's a big, big part of it, especially considering as an independent developer, we don't really have a marketing budget. Um, so, uh, you know, uh, just to let you know as well, this is now May 2012 that I'm making this video, so the, the, the ranking of the App Store could be affected differently, say, next month or next year and so on, and it, it does change. Apple does change their, their uh, rules sometimes, as many other developers know. So, um, you know, uh, this is for people who already have an application in the market or perhaps uh, have an application that's coming into the market. This isn't really a beginner's uh, video on, on how to develop games. It's more a focus on intermediate developers who already have an application coming or, uh, or perhaps an application already in the market and would like to improve their search results. So, um, in the keywords section, so this is the iTunes, um, uh, the iTunes uh, website where you basically upload your games or applications uh, and then part of it is obviously your ap application icon, um, the description of the game, the keywords and then the screenshots. So anyone who's uh, an Apple developer and has actually uploaded an application is familiar with this site. But the, the first thing I want to talk about is pretty much uh, is, is the keywords here, this section. Uh, so this is our game Geometry Line Runner, and this is just one example. We have a bunch of other games uh, that are on on iPhone, um, but the the first tip that I, I I just noted there was basically use all 100 characters. Is use all of them. Um, the keywords here allow you to enter 100 characters max, and make sure that you use all of them. Don't use a space. Don't use a space. So for example, if you're using um, if you're if you're if you have words like say a car. Uh, racing, um, fighting, just for example, then as you can see as I'm just typing here, there's no spaces between my commas because the space doesn't matter. You'd be wasting, uh, you'd be wasting one of the characters. So don't have any spaces. Uh, also include singulars and 
plurals. So, for example, game and games, you have to do that. Uh, the engine, as far as I'm aware at the moment, as in right now, May 2012, it doesn't recognize, it won't make a plural for you. It won't, if you type game, it won't look for games. Um, so, use plurals if you think they're necessary. In this situation here, what we've actually done is we've added some plurals already in the title of the game. Uh, so we've got games and game already in there, and we also have free. So that does affect the ranking because people will type in those those types of words sometimes. Okay. So the other one is use popular games that you think will people will like if they play your game. So for example, in this case, it's kind of a retro-looking style game, Geometry Line Runner. It's kind of similar to Geometry Wars as well. That was the one of the influences of the game. So you know, obviously, what we want to kind of do is include games that we think people will. Um, will like when they when they search for that game they'll also like our game so being a retro sort of old style game we've included things like invaders space um we've also got things like wars in there and i think star is in there somewhere for the for war as in star wars um gallagher is an old classic arcade game pong of course arkanoid so it's uh, you know tron as well as in the style of, of tron that's kind of an influence of, of the x series of games so include the names of popular games that you think they might like as well, and that's no problem. Um, you know, so for example, if you're if you are playing, um, if you're making some kind of fighting game, then include things like say Street Fighter um, or any other fighting game that you can think of. I, I can't think of any off the top of my head right now. So, but that's very very useful and it's very powerful because very often people will be typing in the names. Um, would be typing in those game names inside of the search box and therefore your game will appear as well. So that's very useful. So add in keywords to the title of the game and don't repeat them in the keyword section. So for example, as you can see here, what I've done is included, uh, this is the, the full title here. So this is a big title and it's no problem in doing this. Uh, as far as I'm aware, I think having more keywords in the title as well also will also in, improve your search results. So uh, the game is uh, Retro Games X Geometry Line Runner, but I've also included words like arcade game, free, um, tap, impossible, X series, Cobalt Play, uh, which is the name of the of the business. Um, we've also got the I've got the plural in there, games and game as well. So um, if you go down here, they're not repeated. There's no game. There's no games in there. There's no arcade. There's no retro, and um, you don't want to copy that. Don't do it two times because then you're wasting some of your keywords. You're wasting some of the characters that are available in here. So I believe there's one company I saw, which is, and the company name is actually something like Top Three Best Games or something like that. And I think that's pretty clever because it's uh, it, it's obviously a smaller game development studio like ourselves, and they basically named their company after a, a high popular search term. So their name of the company is Top Three Best Game Apps or something like that. And so they're going to, you know, when people look for it, they're going to find it. So, uh, you know, I put buy Paul got, uh, Cobble Play here, um, but it'd be great to sort of have buy uh, top best games, you know, out there, blah, 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 blah. So have a think about that. So think the name of the game is, is important and include keywords inside the game. Also very, very useful in improving the search ranking. Okay. So next point. Uh, so, yeah, use keywords which people are searching for heavily. Um... For example, applications that are available on Android or are not, that are not available yet on iPhone. So um, I can't think of any examples. I've not actually researched this right now. But if you know that people are searching heavily for a particular game, then include that word inside of your keywords or your title if it relates to the game. Of course, don't just throw it in there. Um, so that that really works well also. So you know, try to use that. And this is... This is coming very, very much from an independent developer, not a big uh, outfit that has, you know, hundreds of thousands of registered users and, and hundreds of thousands of dollars of marketing budget and so on. So these techniques are very, very useful and, and, and pretty much necessary if you want to get uh, plenty of downloads. So, you know, um, I think one of the ways that I've mentioned here is to use things like Google Trends is a very useful way to find keywords. So I, I can't remember the name of the website right now, but if you just type in Google Trends, what that does is it gives you search keywords um, and how they are trending uh, on the through the Google search search engine. So that doesn't uh, directly relate to the iPhone app store, but it does give you a hint. It gives you a clue of what people are looking for. 
So I think around two weeks ago I typed in Angry Birds or something like that. A lot of people were typing in Angry Birds free. That popped up. Um, another one that popped up as well was things like Angry Birds PC, Angry Birds Download and so on. So you get some ideas of how, how, it, uh, how it works uh, and what people are searching for. I think the other one that I didn't include here, I think is, um, it's not Google Analytics, but it's, it's, um, it's a, a similar one to, to Google Trends, and I can't remember it off the top of my head right now. So my apologies for that, but I'm gonna put the, the link of those in the description down below. So, but the other one that I also use is some of the uh, Android search terms, which are a little bit easier to find. So there are some websites out there which basically have a link and they include a list of, of popular search terms for Android right now. So one of the latest ones where I think I saw was Instagram. Uh, people are also searching a lot for Fruit Ninja and Temple Run. Um, also things like battery use and so on. Now, I've not found as many for iPhone, but that kind of gives us a hint of what people might be looking for on iPhone as well. So if anybody's interested, please drop a comment or, or subscribe and so on or send me a message and I can, I'll add those links down in the, in the uh, uh, description below if anybody's interested. So, but definitely do some search on keyword search terms, you know, just like if you were building a website and you want that to get ranked higher. Very important.